I spent two years doing feasibility in Santa Barbara, talking to the heads of foundations and business leaders, parents and schools to find out whether this program would really be an asset to the city. funder. Um, we had a mutual acquaintance, somebody that's been funding Palabra for the last uh, about five years now. And um, she pitched her idea to him and he said, you know, I have somebody in the community that you might want to talk to. And we sat down and we just started talking. And it kind of intrigued me for her to come in here and have a different spin on how to go about doing things. It was to me something that was uh, I kind of hit at home because I'm doing something very different from what everybody else in Santa Barbara is doing when it comes to dealing with this population and, and dealing with these particular issues. So it just seemed like a, a, you know, an out of the box idea with somebody else that's out of the box. So what best now, you know, to stand on the outside looking in and, and create our own, our own ideas and our own things, it's, I think it's very valuable. So um, that's what really got me to start working with her, with Natalie. I'm Natalie Thanks. jean Sac and I founded Youth Interactive in 2008. Um, it was really a combination of having traveled for about two years and meeting women all around the world and finding out what really was the issue to help communities come out of poverty, to give them a hand up but not a hand out. And really, on five continents, the resounding solution from all these women was our children. They're our hope. Mm -hmm. 